look at this bull. Desert File actually says, quantum physics proved it mathematically. I'm about to show how much this is bullshit. He's not just being ignorant here. He's actually lying, saying it proved it mathematically. If you're to slow, if you're to pause this and, and look at the comments, I think this, these comments kind of describe what's going on aptly. Now the problem is that Desert File is uh, not only claiming that magnetic motors are impossible, which I agree with, but he's also claiming that magnetic fields don't even contain energy, and that is wrong. Um, I'm going to show you as best I can. Uh, I, I can't seem to persuade him to, to, to even look it up. He just flat out denies it. So I'm going to show you a few places. Let's start with uh, Wikipedia, um, putting in magnetic field. Um, I mean, if, if you, uh, this, is, this is the actual Wikipedia page for magnetic field. And look at section 8.3.1. You can see I've already been there. Energy stored in magnetic fields. Energy stored in magnetic fields. This is not a pun. This is not some sort of pseudo energy. This is energy, and this is inherent in any magnetic field. Magnetic fields store energy, just like electric fields. They contain energy. So do gravitational fields. Okay, let's look up uh, on on the web. If you don't trust Wikipedia, let's let's find some other sources, uh, preferably university or government websites. So let's see. Um, the first few, here's the Wikipedia page we were just at, um, down hyperphysics, uh, edu, GSU, uh, Georgia State University. So let's see what they say. Aha, look at that. It's exactly what we wanted, energy and magnetic and electric fields. This is, this is the exact physics definition of the energy stored in a magnetic field. Uh, this isn't just saying what the energy is. It says how much it is. All right, so let, let's make sure that I, I want to verify that, that, this is really, uh, that this is really Georgia State University. Um, I mean, it's, it's not just some gsu.edu page. So maybe uh, someone could criticize me and say, oh, this isn't really a GSU page. Um, all right, well, GSU is Georgia State University. Obviously, a state university is accredited. Let's see if I can uh, uh, verify that, that this hyperphysics is actually ah hosted by the Department of Physics and Astronomy. There you go. Um, let's let's uh, see if I can find some some more proof that it's it's actually from the Department of Physics and Astronomy, um, Georgia State University. There we go. Um, Physics and Astronomy, Georgia State University, Hyperphysics. So this this is an actual website put up, um, not even by an individual at, at GSU, but by the department itself. So let's go on. Let's let's find some more uh, pages that refute uh, that magnetic fields don't contain energy. Duke Energy, IS, the UK, and the stock market. If only I put my money in that instead of losing it. Okay, let's see. Um, Let's try the next page. Um, Earth's magnetic field, any difference in energy stored by an inductor. Magnetic energy in Texas, U Texas. That looks good. Oh, it looks like it's talking about inductors. It's, it's talking particularly about the energy stored in an inductor. It does say magnetic energy. Um, Inductors, of course, store their energy in the form of uh, their magnetic field. A, an electrical current in and of itself does not contain energy. So don't kid yourself into thinking that, oh, it's the electrical current in the inductor that's storing the energy. No, it's the magnetic field induced by the current. Uh, and when that magnetic field collapses, when the uh, current stops, it releases its energy. And in the, in, in the, the way this uh, manifests itself is that the inductor forces the current to continue. And here it is. Energy stored uh, is B squared. B is the magnetic field. Uh, and and mu naught is the perme uh, permeability of free space. There are actually two quantities. There's B and H. B is uh, kind of like current density, whereas H is kind of like electric field, if, if you were to uh, compare it with um, electric fields. Uh, and that, you know, there's, there's a sort of magnetic... Um, resistance. It, it's actually kind of more like 
the dielectric constant it is for elect, uh, electricity than, um, well, anyway. So here we go with, with another government page. Um, they don't even they don't even really uh, go into detail about how magnet magnetic fields contain energy. They just assume that you you know it already. I mean, it's a, it was about fusion. So let's see what the uh, the circuit page says here. This is a, a, a site devoted to electronic circuits. Inductor's magnetic field, the store energy and inductor. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to really be focusing on uh, the physics aspect of it, that is, that it's the energy stored in the inductor is in its magnetic field. Um, it seems to be mostly focused on, um, on the, the electrical circuit applications. So electrical engineering instead of physics. Uh, I have degrees in electrical engineering, and um, we studied physics, but that was an out-of-department course. Uh, let's see. Superconducting magnetic energy storage. Gee, can you get any more direct than that? The storing of energy. Uh, magnetic storage. To store energy in the magnetic field created by the flow of direct current in a superconducting coil, which has been cryogenically stored below superconducting critical temperature. That is how the energy is stored in uh, an inductor made out of superconductors, which is what superconducting magnetic energy storage is. You, you get an inductor, you put a current through it, and then you connect the two ends together, and the current keeps going without loss. Here we go, MIT. Are you going to deny Massachusetts Institute of Technology if they say that magnetic fields contain energy? Not just any, uh, any school in the, the Ivy League, but freaking MIT. OK, let's see. Let's see if they can back it up. A uh, little, uh, little problem loading the, the PDF file. All right, here we go. So, um, inductance and magnetic energy. Uh, energy stored in magnetic fields, section 11.3. Uh, so, as you can see, my, see my uh, screen recorder was, was having a little bit of problem there. Right. I didn't know if it was actually recording or not still because it started flashing strangely. Let's see. Inductance and magnetic energy. It doesn't seem to actually have math here. It just says magnetic energy. It kind of assumes that you know it. Um, yeah, again, it seems to be like that circuit uh, page. Um, more concerned with the electrical applications rather than the physics applications of uh, the, the implications of the magnetic field containing energy. But that, there we go. Look at that. Magnetic field at the center of the ring. Self-inductance. Magnetic field induced. Uh, Self-inductance of a toroid. There we go. biot art law. Magnetic field in the center of the toroid. Um, well, that's pretty good evidence, I guess, but um, might want to find something else. Come on. Show me something to really pin it down. Uh, these are, I mean, if, if you look at the, the links that, that I click on in, in going to these places, you can, um, you can just do it yourself pretty easily uh, and, and see that this is really what's in the page. Here we go. Magnetic energy stored in an inductor. Um, so it, it doesn't deny that it is magnetic energy. Here's another uh, page that I found. It's, uh, it's um, Stanford. This one's uh, another Ivy League school. It's, uh, I don't know if this is the physics department or what. Solarcenter.stanford.edu magnetism magnetic energy. But let's see. Stored, in energy, stored energy in magnetic fields. Um, I, that's still pretty clear. It, it looks like this isn't written for scientists. It's, it's dumbed down for the public, so it doesn't have any numbers or formulae in it. Um, hold the magnets, the stack magnets together. Okay, it's, it's just telling you about um, 
the release of that energy when you let two magnets attract each other. And that really is the release of magnetic energy when you let two magnets attract each other. Uh, the the fields uh, of each magnet don't change, but the energy is, is the, the volume integral of the square of the magnetic field times a constant. Um, and that changes when you let two magnets attract each other. Um, so, you know, if, if in, in fact, hypothetically, you could, you could uh, take, you could get rid of half the, the magnetic field energy um, because you take magnet of strength one and a magnet of strength one and you let them pull each other together and you end up with another magnet of strength one. 